Oh, hello, everyone. Again, my sound didn't record, so again, I'm narrating. This is so much fun. Um, actually, I don't mind it. It's fine. Um, so today, I am going to be just doing a really simple technique where I split the foreground and the background. So you can see this bird here. I just cut around its head so that um, I could insert that circle in between the foreground which is the bird and the blurred background so i really like um, this technique because it's so simple and it's so easy and helpful so i'm just going through some of my materials and going could i s put something behind them or could i not and i think it's really important to um to do that uh, ahead of time this image actually is almost like digitally the person is put in the foreground in between the foreground and the background so that's kind of like a digital example of it so yeah that's what I'm doing so I'm just going through uh, the watches that kind of thing the jewelry could go in between that's something that I could go in between and um, fussy cut out so I had done birds before so I wanted to try to do something different I could I could go and cut behind that tree um, I could cut behind this person here, um, but I really like just that image as it is, so I decided to not cut it. So here's a person here that I could cut. I was thinking I could even cut on the side of her there and split her there. So um, yeah, I have a lot of things from the Backpacker magazine um, that I got. So yeah, you could, that mountain there, bluff or whatever you call it. Um, that so something that's really strong an item or a person that's in the foreground that you could just cut part of it away is what I'm looking for and then some other things to put behind it that man there is really good because he's all very um, gray like one color and so then you can um, put in something super colorful behind him um, and have that contrast so contrast is a really big thing there, that colorful uh, clock could go right behind him. Okay, so when I'm doing this, I'm looking for contrast in color um, or even opposite colors, like complementary colors is a really great thing to do. The other thing is I liked to use circles. So as I was looking for things, um, I was looking for either circles that I could cut out um, there were already circles or things that I could cut out um, with a circle. I don't have a circle punch, but somebody else um, I've seen do circles. I think it was Luis Martin again. He's great. Um, so yeah, I was thinking I could put those owls behind that backpacker there. So there was lots of options for this. This was like the simplest thing I've done so far. And I thought it was also really effective. So um that girl, I wanted to put something behind her. So, um, yeah, it's just really fun. I, um, I picked up that thing that says time to heal out of a magazine. And I, I do think it is, um, time for us as a human race to start healing. Um, so I just kept it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just looking through some more images to find things that I could cut around to split the foreground and the background and insert something in there. Um, the other cool thing about this, you can play with contrast, like I said, but you can also play with proportion. So you can put something really large um, behind something really small and um, like that right there. That watch is in real life small, but um, you can put um, that big, big watch, the photograph of the big watch behind a, something that is traditionally big, but is photographed small. You'll kind of see what I, what I do in a minute. I loved that. Um, what was it called? I loved all of it. <laughs> that was a really good image too, but I just didn't pick it. And I just think I have enough here. So I'm just gonna, oh yeah, the flowers. So good, so good, pufferfish, love that image too. I got a lot of images that I love, but I do like to take them out ahead of time so I don't have to go through the magazines. That's just the way I think I like to work. 
has been helpful for me. So most of the rest of this video is pretty self-explanatory. I cut around the image and I put something behind it and I glue it down. So I'm just going to put on some music and let you guys watch. Um, I'd love it if you subscribed, if you gave me a like. If you uh, click the bell button, you'll be able to see my videos and get a notification. You'll be able to see them first. So um, yeah, thank you for being here. Please leave a comment if you have some and I will see you in the next video.